this video is going to be simple short and sweet sss in today's video i'm going to be telling you how i created this la casera product animation la casera la casera as you can see it's a looping animation and the brand is la casera a nigerian and also i think a spanish brand i've seen that makes sodas refreshment drinks so before we head into the main deed of today please subscribe like hit the like button and also share comments you can also share to your friends to also help my my youtube channel grow so we can we can bring add more to the family as we discuss this <laughs> so let's head into the software where all the magic happens which is blender here we are in blender and this, this is just a simple setup very simple the first thing i did was to model the lacacera bottle which is as easy as as, it's, as it is model the lacacera bottle then the lacacera wrap which i just snapped from a real life lacacera bottle and then projected it on this wrap here and that is essentially how the bottle was created the main effect in this product animation is the splash and i'm going to be telling you how that was created the splash was created with as you guessed <laughs> liquid theme so let's head into the liquid theme settings so the object for the splash the collision object to create this splash was not this bottle it was a cube that is around the size or the diameter of the bottle i created that to use as a collision object to create the splash and that is simply because the splash was actually created before the lacacera bottle i already conceived the idea before i actually modeled the lacacera bottle but it's also easier like because the lacacera bottle has a lot of contours so it's going to be harder to calculate all those it's easier if it's just a simple cube so that's what i did i used the cube as the collision object for the simulation so let's head into the liquid simulation settings and let's talk about those if i may draw your attention towards here for the resolution division i used 700 and that is because i could have gone sorry i used 170 i said 700 170 i used 700 on a previous project for fire sim if you have not watched that video please go and watch it it's on my channel my last uploaded video how i set myself on fire so for this i used 170 and i could have gone higher to like 200 or so but i noticed that the because when you increase the resolution divisions it essentially adds more particle and then the more particle that was added into the fluid scene the less of a splash was created so i think 170 was the sweet spot that i used then the time scale is animated because if you watched the animation it goes from very fast and then it becomes slow at a point so you can see the, if you look down here you can see the keyframes it goes from normal speed as 0.1 and then it reduces to 0.50 to make it <clears throat> to make it very slow to give that slow motion effect and that's how that was done that's how that was that's how that was achieved by animating the time scale so yeah <clears throat> i want to say something there was there was something i saw on instagram when someone didn't know that on all these settings if you just press i on all these settings if you press i you, you add a keyframe to them so basically almost everything in blender keyframes can be added to all you need to do is just hover over it and press i let me give an example like time step maximum if i hover over it and press i you can see it has become orange that means a keyframe has been added but we don't want that so let's control z that so that's how the slow motion effect was created for the animation <clears throat> then for the fluid settings it's simply the basic settings but that collision just simply means that the fluid will collide with 
with the front, the back, the right, the left, the we won't call it the top or the bottom. So it just means that all the fluid will disappear because <laughs> the, the liquid is just in one, it's meant to be in one place. It's not meant to flow out. So that's why these collisions are there. So the liquid is going to be contained. It's going to be collided with the edge of the domain. Then delete in obstacle. This was a very important setting for this product animation because when I first started, when I first started and I was trying to simulate the splash, as it was hitting, as it was hitting the fluid, it wasn't splashing, and I was wondering why. So essentially, the liquid in the obstacles were still there, although it was colliding, it was having like a a wave effect, but it wasn't splashing because those fluids were still there; they were not deleted. So when I press delete in obstacle, that simply means that when the collision object comes in contact with the fluid any there's there's no going to be there is no going to be fluid contained inside the collision objects so all that fluid is going to disappear and that just that made it have a large amount of splash that i was looking for that was like the icing on the cake so that was a very important setting and other than that baked everything baked the mesh operates factor to three and that was essentially how the whole product animation was created and i told you guys this one is going to be simple short and sweet this i don't even think i spent four minutes <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like subscribe turn on notification do all the things my channel needs i'm begging you <laughs> i'm begging thanks so before we close let's watch it one last time like a <laughs> And with that, that's how that looping product animation was created. Thank you guys for watching so much. I really appreciate. Don't forget to do the needful. <laughs> and until next time, bye.